From the recent resignation of the university's president to the football loss to U of M this weekend and the fight in the tunnel, it's been tough times in East Lansing. But tonight, Michigan State University has a new interim president who will try to right the ship. News 8's Joe LaFergie has more on her appointment. Of course, the impact of what goes on in East Lansing is felt here in West Michigan from the College of Human Medicine here in Grand Rapids to the thousands who either attend MSU or call it their alma mater. The board vote was unanimous. Dr. Teresa Woodruff is hereby appointed interim president for Michigan State University effective November 4th, 2022. Just when Teresa Woodruff will take over as interim president is still up in the air. Current president Samuel Stanley has 90 days from the October 13th announcement of his resignation before he has to leave. We're really working on those details right now between the board, the president, and myself. There is one president at a time, so President Stanley remains the president for Michigan State University. The start of Woodruff's presidency is yet another challenge MSU is dealing with. Appointed in 2018 after the resignation of Luann Simon in the wake of the Larry Nasser controversy, and interim president John Engler a year later after remarks he made about Nasser victims, Stanley also ran into trouble with the board. He came under fire from some members after he fired the business school dean for failing to disclose a professor in the school was accused of inappropriately touching a student during a party. Then there were accusations first reported in the Detroit News that Stanley falsely certified Title IX reports. Title IX protects people from sex discrimination at educational institutions that receive federal funding. Stanley accused board members of micromanagement. A nationwide search is planned to find a permanent replacement. Considering all the controversy, MSU board chair Diane Byram was asked if she thinks attracting candidates for that search will be a challenge. This is a great university. And we are doing wonderful things and we're making progress. And I think today is another step forward. The board chair says the firm that will conduct that nationwide search will be named in the next few weeks. In Grand Rapids, Joe LaFergie, News 8.